So I want to show you the hydroponic system which has been running since um, about six months ago. I, the, the fish are swimming around here growing nicely and yesterday I set up a swirl filter to take out more of the solid waste from the tank. So there's the swirl filter that I have set up over there in the corner. The grow beds are up here. Growing some baby bok choy with fava beans and some sunflowers just for fun and to attract beneficial bugs. So the way the swore filter works right now, I have a pump all the way down the bottom of the tank hopefully picking up as much solids as possible. Uh, and the, another pump that's kind of in the middle of the tank instead of all the way at the bottom. And that is the one that feeds into the grow beds. And hopefully that one will not pick up as much of the solid waste as the one down at the bottom. And the way that I have this set up is that it pulls the water out and instead of going straight into the swirl filter, I actually first bring it into this UV filter. And I use this UV filter for two reasons. Um, one is to kill all the water out, uh, allergies that are just floating around. Uh, clouding the water up and also to possibly kill any waterborne parasites like ick and whatnot. So it goes through that and then from there uh, it comes out the UV filter and then it goes in to the middle of the swallow tank. And from the swirl tank, so we'll take a look at the inside. You see that uh, this this tube here is actually not really necessary for any of the plumbing, but it allows me to easily adjust the angle of the inlet flow. And right now you can see that some of the solid has already collected um, and then as it is filling up this tube here is the return it skims off the top and it brings it back out and down and back into the tank And so there it is. Oh, and another way uh, that the swore tank works is that it also has a spigot down the bottom. Of course, there's got to be a good way of cleaning out all the solids once it fills up. And this spigot will allow me to just uh, siphon out all the uh, dirty stuff down at the bottom and I'd probably feed it to the plants outside in the yard. Alright, that's all for now.